Do you have one of these? Reciprocating saw, corded. This is about as heavy duty as you can get. This one here was made in uh, Hunt Valley, Maryland. That's how far this one goes back. It's industrial and it is a beast and it's corded. Now, have you ever wondered, should you go with cordless? Well, today I'm going to try a cordless uh, reciprocating saw and uh, it's the first one that I've ever bought. And uh, I do have a reciprocating saw. This is my uh, M12. And guys, this is not competing with something like that. This is for light duty use and uh, it's a terrific unit. But no, what I did was I went and bought this one here. And this is the uh, DCS 380B and the B just stands for bare tool because I have the batteries already. These are 20 volt and DeWalt makes a terrific product. I'm going to try this out. I got some pressure treated wood here and we're going to put the timer on and we're going to see how good it cuts a piece of wood compared to the corded. So it's going to be cordless versus corded. So to make everything fair, I decided to get two brand new blades. These are Diablo and guys, these are terrific blades. And this one here is a demolition blade. And we're gonna use it on uh, pressure treated wood on a two by four here. And this is the uh, unit here. I just took it out of the box. And uh, you know what? She looks pretty good to me. But this is gonna be the first try. And this one here, is a lot different than my other one. The other one, the old one, guys, that has to be 30 years old and it uses an Allen key. You have to use a set screw to tighten the blade in. This one here, all you do is you've got this little lever on the side here, this little lever. You just open this up and see if I get this in here. Yeah, you just see on the inside there. You just open it up and I think this is ingenious. Just put the blade in there close it. That's it. So all we got to do now is snap in a battery and let's see how she works. Now it has some kind of a trigger lock on it here or something because I press the trigger and nothing happens and there you go. It does have a trigger lock. One side to the other. And that's a good idea so it's not in your uh, you know your bag or something when you're transporting it and it hits the trigger and just choose whatever else you got inside there. Okay, so that's a great idea, I like that. And here we go. We're gonna to get to it right now. Okay, you ready? You can see the line right here. And like I said before, I'm gonna use the timer on the, uh, on the rendering program. We'll see how many seconds it takes to cut through this. And then we'll try it again with the cordless DeWalt. Well, that went there pretty quick, and I gotta reposition my clamp and do the next one. Okay, now on to this one. Guys, I tell you what, there was so much vibration from the uh, corded one that loosened up the clamps, <laughs> moved the whole thing right over. We'll give her a go on this one. Hopefully it doesn't vibrate the clamps right off. So, let's get to it. Here we go. Wow. Okay guys, just for the fun of it, <laughs> you wanna try this one out here. I got a fully charged battery on here. Well, you'll never see that, but all the lights are lit up, so it's all fully charged. And we'll see how this one does. And whether you can get away with something like this or not. But let's just put this one on, let's just take a look. I took the uh, blade out of the last try on the electric one, and let's just see how she goes. Well, she works. Guys, she works. And, uh, you know, it did the job. Okay, so what are my thoughts? First of all, as you could see on this one here, it's uh, old fashioned design, uses a set screw to hold the blade in. I, I, I must say, the other one with the quick change blade, that is so much better. Okay. 
to get down to it, you really can't tell by looking at a video how much something weighs, can you? But I'm going to tell you what, this weighs so much less than the corded design. And actually, you know what? There's a lot less vibration. How much torque do you need to operate one of these? Well, I'll tell you what, the electric one there is a beast. That'll take anything. And as far as I'm concerned, this one will too. I really can't see any disadvantage in this. It's portable, lightweight, and you know what? When it comes down to it, how much do you need? Have I ever used the capacity of this one here in an industrial atmosphere? Absolutely not. But it's lasted me, like I say, over 30 years. How long do these last? I have no idea, but I'm looking forward to using this more because of the portability. And of course, up in my camp, I'm off grid and uh, this will come in handy. You don't know how many times you need a reciprocating saw and this one here is just ideal. And I mean, just to take the blade out like this, that is just slick or what? So thanks for joining me here today. My view is, guys, this is a, a 10 out of 10. I love this thing. <laughs> I think it's terrific. I paid a hundred bucks for this. That's what I paid, 100 bucks plus 13% sales tax up here in Ontario. And guys, you can't buy anything close to this for 100 bucks. But they sell a lot more expensive ones than this. They sell a lot more heavy duty units that are cordless, different manufacturers. But I'm not a professional in an industrial setting. I bet you this lasts me 30 years too. So thanks for joining me here today. If you haven't seen this channel before, you're welcome to subscribe. Come back again now. Cheers.